Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you a few different tips on working with date values. So anything that follows a date expression, for example if we did current date and time like this, or if I had a, a date picker, so there's an element here for a date and time picker, um, and I had my text here and I wanted to display the value of whatever I put into this date picker, I can do date and time picker value. There's a lot of different um, operations and modifiers and I just want to point out a few of them so that you know what your options are when you're working with dates and how to manipulate them. So the first one is that you can reformat the display of the date value a number of different ways. If you click on formatted as and Bubble gives you a bunch of presets like this where you can display the date, um, uh, you know, abbreviated differently. Uh, you can strip out the time if you wanted to, um, extract the time like that, or just show the, the date like that. You can also go into this custom formatting and really customize the way you want to see the date. And you can see here are some like shorthand examples uh, so that you can uh, write it out exactly how you want. So you have hour, minute, and then AM, PM, or you can do it in 24 hour time. So this will actually tell you all of your different options there. Um, and by default, if you don't have a formatting option, if you just leave it like this, date time picker value or current date time value, Bubble will default it to an abbreviated month, a number date, uh, followed by a comma with the year and then the time in a 12-hour format time. So I'm going to refresh the page here so you can see what that'll look like um, with the default. So if I just select any date there, because I don't have, I haven't enabled the time, this will default to 12 a.m., but this is Bubble's default date display. And keep in mind that when Bubble displays a date value, um, it's going to display it in the user's local time. So whatever setting they have their computer's time to or their browser's um, time zone, that's what it's going to display. The second thing that I want to show you is um, you can change what the date actually is by adding time to it or subtracting times. And what I mean by that is with these operations here, you can add a certain number of seconds. You'll just select that and you can type in a number. I can type in 300 section, seconds like that. Um, or you can add hours, days, months, years. This will actually change that date value to that new date uh, and time value. If you wanted to subtract any one of these things, let's say I wanted to do this value minus five days, all I have to do is add that minus sign and then five like that, and now we're subtracting five days. So you can put in a negative number there. The next thing is you can change different components of your date and time value with these change operations here. So let's say I want to take the current date and time and I want to change that value to the beginning of the year. So I can do change date to 1 and also change month to 1. Um, with this, the exact time, the hour and minute will be the same. So if right now was September 10th at 1 p.m., this is going to change it to January 1st at 1 p.m. So if you wanted to completely convert this value to, you know, January 1, 12 a.m., you would also need to change the hour to zero, change the minute to zero, second to zero. So it's whatever you want to convert this time to, it'll completely change over. Um, so I will preview that page, this page here, so you can see that happening as well. So right now it's September 12th, um, but with that modification, it changed it to January 1st of this year because I didn't modify the year. And then this is my current time right now. Um, and it's gonna keep that there because I didn't modify the time. You can also extract different components of the date value. So right here we're changing the components, but you can also read the component um, for the date value, whether it's the current date and time or something from a date picker, if you use the extract um, operation there. So once you select extract, you can see that you have all of these different components to choose from. Um, and all this would do, if I were to do extract minute, the value of this is now just that minute. Uh, number. It is completely removed everything else about the date and time and it's just giving you 
the minute there. I'm gonna refresh the page so you can see. We are in minute 16 right now. Um, the day, this is the only other one that I wanna point out. This is referring to the numbered day of the week. So Sunday is gonna be zero and Saturday will be number six, okay? So Sunday zero, Monday one, Tuesday two. This will let you uh, uh, extract the day of the week by a number value like that. You can also do calculations with date values. So I'm gonna actually add another date picker here so that we have two so we can do some date math between the two. Um, so I have date picker A and then we have date picker B. So my text uh, here, if I, were, if I wanted to calculate the difference between two days, I can just take date picker B uh, and subtract minus date picker A's value. And then Bubble will give me this option to format that difference as one of these values here. So, you know, if I uh, select uh, the 10th here and then I select the 5th here, uh, it will format it as a five day difference. Um, or if you're uh, working with a smaller time frame, you're within the same day, but your times are different, you can format these um, as hours, minutes, or seconds. So I'm gonna show you, I'll select format as days there and we'll preview the page and we'll select two different dates uh, with our date pickers. So this is A, let's do the first, and then this is B, let's do the 14th. We can see that there are 13 days uh, difference there. It's taking this value, subtracting this value. Okay, um, and you can continue, because this is a number value, um, ultimately this gives you a number, you can continue to do math with it. If you add on to it, you see that you still have math operators, uh, so you can carry on that expression. Finally, the last thing I wanna show you is how to create date ranges, which also gives you a whole other um, list of uh, options and operations available to you. Uh, to create a range, you'll wanna write it like this. You'll do the start of the range, let's say date picker A, value, and then select this range uh, operation here, this modifier, and then select the end of the range, which will be our second date time picker value. So this is now, um, I just this alone is creating your range value. The it, it will have a start and end, and Bubble will be able to recognize anything that's within the range too. Um, and so when you uh, click to see what kind of operations are after this expression, this range expression, you see you have a whole list of different options here. You can, because we're working with a text element here, we need something kind of finite uh, for this text element to be um, a compatible value. So I can select the start of the range um, and format it as you know something like that. This gives me a nice blue expression or I can choose the end of the range. Uh, I can choose the center point of the range, it'll give me the very middle. Um, you have a couple of yes, no statements that you can make. So I can say, does this range um, contain point, uh, current date and time? So this is writing an expression. If the range does contain the current date and time, this value will be yes. If this range does not contain, if this is a false statement, then the value will be no. Um, and you can see that there are other things like that. You can see if a range overlaps with another range um, or it comes after um, some date and time value or before some date and time value. So you have a lot of different things that you can play with here. But uh, that's just a quick look at all of the different things that you can do with dates and times. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment uh, below. Thanks so much for watching and remember to subscribe to the channel to get updates on new tutorials every week. Thanks guys.